uh, we're talking with Johnny Dodson, the American Soybean Association president. And, um, Johnny, we just got done talking about the uh, situation with potential soybean shortage this year. How serious is that potential that we're looking at through the summer? Well, uh, the last numbers that I've personally seen that came from USDA, it could be significant. The demand has continued to be good uh, uh, through this marketing year. Uh, China has continued to be a great customer for U.S. soybeans. And, and uh, the, the pipeline could get fairly small by uh, the time we have a new crop come in. What kind of numbers are we looking at, potentially? Well, if, if I did the math correctly, we'd be down to about 136 uh, million bushels by, uh, at, by the time we start a new crop. Where does that compare to where we've been historically with carryover? Well, uh, percentage-wise, uh, I, I, I wouldn't dare to give an estimate, but uh, the lowest was uh, uh, last year that I'm aware of. We were down to about 150 million bushels. Uh, typically, uh, the comfort range for our customers here and, uh, uh, is somewhere in the uh, 200, 250 million bushel uh, range, so significantly less than, than the comfort level for our users here. So when you look at uh, working with some of your international customers, even our domestic customers, what kind of advice are you giving to them right now as far as looking at the supply and, and making their plans through the summer? Well, uh, uh, a, a prudent buyer would have, uh, uh, would continue to purchase, uh, look at their needs uh, into the future and, and continue to purchase uh, those needs. Okay. How many acres are we going to need to uh, get out of this situation for this year? Well, the, I mean, that's, that's an excellent question. It's, it's really hard to say because we, we see the numbers out of South America continuing to change. Uh, it appears the Argentine crop is con uh, getting smaller, uh, but as the Argentine crop is getting smaller, we're, we're seeing a, uh, in a possible increase in, in the Brazilian crop. So, uh, you know, when, when it's all said and done, it depends on our growing season. There's lots of variables uh, that will go into having a production level that everyone's comfortable with. We hear all the talk about the worldwide economy and how bad things are right now across the globe, but uh, demand still staying up there for soybeans? Uh, uh, demand appears to uh, be good. Uh, people still are going. Okay. That's Johnny Dodson with the American Soybean Association.